Now the three kind of blades that you're going to need are here and uh, they have numbers on the back. So we've got a number four, we have a number one, and we have a number two. So the number one, you can see, is very thin and fine and it's going to make small thin lines and then we have a number two it looks more like a V in the front and that's going to be making a little bit of a wider line sometimes what I like to do is make one line with this one as a guideline and then if I need to widen it up I will take the number two and put it on there and then the last one we have is a number four and you can see that's kind of a square shaped one that's for taking out big areas and all you have to do is uh, find the front of this and put the blade in like so and then you're going to twist it a little bit so that it's in there nice and firm and you should be able to uh, not be able to pull it out. Uh, it's very important because we want to have a very safe cutting time. So with this kind of print, this is an easy cut linoleum print, so it's much softer than regular linoleum, but you still have to be careful with it. I, I like it because it does grip against the surface, and so you don't necessarily have to have a bench hook but you do want to be careful and move slowly. You always want to cut away from yourself, never be going this way. So you can turn your piece to go in the direction that's more comfortable. So I'm just gonna go along with this thin one first. And that way I'll have most of my lines in there. Just to kind of, and then when I curve, I can just kind of go like this, and then once again, move back here. It doesn't take that much pressure. In fact, if you press really hard, you it's more likely that it's going to pop up and cut someone. And here's where I can take the number two and change that blade out. And I'm going to get in just a little bit deeper. But I've got that thin line that I've already carved as a guideline. It makes it cutting much easier. So I'll probably do majority of my cutting with this number two, but uh, and then little fine details can be done with the number one. These large areas I might get the number four on. Depends. It's kind of got a lot of detail in there. If you don't use all the blades, it's okay. Safety is the number one thing we want to look out for. So go as slow as possible. It's okay to come back and do something like I just did those two cuts right in the same spot. So for this curve I'm gonna move the block as I go. And I'm pretty much leaving the blade in the same spot the whole time. Slowly, slowly, slowly. 